Shalom Israel, um, this is Sister Kana, and welcome to another segment of Yeshaya Speaks. And I'm making this part of the learning how to heal segment, but I'm going to call this like um, spiritual protection. And I think I was supposed to go into this, into the learning how to heal um, whole series, but I just, I got sidetracked, I got busy with other things. So I wanted to really go into um, learning how to protect our spirit because I think it's very important. And um, the Most High said, like in the days of Noah, so will the um, coming of the Son of Man be. So um, first and foremost, let me give all glory and praise to Ahaya, Asha Ahaya, Bahashem Yeshaya, and um, just lift up his holy name and just give him praise because he is worthy. Um, I wanted to go into the segment because I find it it's very important that sisters know how to protect themselves in the spirit. We are about to go into and we are under spiritual attack and it's just that a lot of sisters I believe because at first I didn't know how to protect myself either. I knew that um, you know it was important not to open yourself up to demonic spirits and stuff but I didn't know how to protect myself and what I found was covering my head was one of the main important things of learning how to protect yourself in the spirit so when the spirit when the, the scripture go into us submitting ourselves to Christ and to a higher through Christ by covering our head and for women for those who are married by submitting uh, themselves to their husbands by covering their head it goes much deeper in just you know being obedient and that that should be you know enough that you being obedient to the word and to your husband but also it goes into because it's a spiritual a spiritual um you know knowing how to guard yourself within the spirit and um because we as uh, as women are the reflection of the holy spirit and because we are the feminine spirit it's important that we are protected and it's important to know how to protect yourself and so lately on the internet I've been um, checking out certain things and I see a lot of women talking about um, demonic spirits being under attack all for the last week and a half I've been um, seeing those kind of videos and then I spoke to um, a couple of sisters and they said the same thing that they had heard, they a friend of them told them something about being under attack or you know while they were sleep they was wrestling and a spirit came and tried to sleep with them and having you know kind of bad dreams and we know that the bible speaks about that when it in genesis when it says um that the sons of god came down and slept with the women the daughters of um, zion and the women in general and so we know that we are in the time of the coming of our Lord and Savior, Shia, and that he will be returning soon. And we see the, the prophecies unfolding. We see, you know, the things manifesting in the earth. And I just really wanted to do this as a warning to let put sisters on God so that they won't fall victim to this because it's going, it's happening as we speak. We see the, on the news, the media rights are falling to the earth and you know left and right you know more than usual and um, we know that, that we got to understand now that these meteorites are in fact fallen angels and so they're coming upon the earth and they're looking to do you know to be wicked and to do wicked things and so sisters because we are the weaker vessel we are more uh, um, accessible to for these kind of attacks and sister has sisters have to know how to guard themselves in the spirit and f the first way is through prayer and reading the scriptures staying in the word putting on the armor of Christ which is the word you must be um, praying and reading and studying to show yourself a proof to the most high because you wouldn't have any question about covering your head if you're actually studying the word and there's a lot of people on the internet who are claiming to be Christ and always talking about Christ 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 and they you know they don't even wear their hair, hair hair covered and then they give you excuses oh like your hair is your covering your your actual hair is your covering because there's a scripture that says you know a woman's covering um you know she should not be sh sh um shaven or shown you know and that her hair is her covering but that is not you know the right assessment for that scripture because you can't take off your hair 
when you're not prophesying or praying. And it's in the scripture that tells you that you should cover your head when prophesying or praying. So you're not going to take off your hair. So you know that that scripture is not relevant to just your long hair as your covering or the hair on your head as your covering. You need to cover your head. This is our spiritual temple. The Most High told us to cover our head when prophesying and praying. Yes, but then if you read other scriptures, it said we should always be praying. You should pray without ceasing. We should always be praying, sisters. And so if you don't want to be under spiritual attacks and, and, and allowing demons into your spirit, into your life, into your temple, you must obey the scriptures and be covered. It's very important. Um, there's no way around it. And, you know, a lot of sister want, sisters want to rebel against the word of the most high or against their husbands or the men that they uh that may speak and i and that's why i think it's important for women they, they to hear it from other women as well that this is how we should conduct ourselves because it is spiritual protection not only are you fasting that's a way to protect yourself you also are praying without ceasing you're studying to show yourself approved and you wearing your head cover you're protecting yourself at all times especially in this time when we know that there are a lot of demonic forces working against you you if you um you know like watching tv all that stuff that's not even you know in the conversation because i'm not talking about those people who, who don't even understand that you need to cut all that stuff out i'm talking about sisters who are claiming to be in christ who are claiming to be you know, dealing with the Holy Spirit, who are claiming to be Israelite women, but yet you don't wear your hair covered, and you're not even protecting yourself, and you know, you know, they claim to study, they have books, and they're reading, and these things, but yet they have no spiritual discernment of the time that we're in, or how you're supposed to conduct yourself as an Israelite, and um, you know, the responsibility of being a woman, whether you're married or not married, and um, I just wanted to really talk about this because and so sisters could understand because I have a, a very vested interest in this because I've you know personally I've always been under attack by women and it, when before when I didn't know the truth you know they, I I think that the most high had given me some level of spiritual understanding so I knew that there was a, it was a spiritual thing but I'd never really understand from a young girl always being un attacked by women and um so I really you know, I take to heart in this and protecting myself and then not having to deal with the, those demons. And that's what it is. It's, it's a demonic spirit. And when sisters refuse to re protect themselves, when they refuse to wear head coverings and, you know, pray and get understanding from the scriptures, you know, that it's a direct <coughs> attack because those spirits will come ag up against you. You know, if, if you're trying to you know, do right and be righteous and do things according to the word of the Most High. When these spirits will come up against you and attack, and that's something that I've always had to deal with. And so it's important to me to know how to protect themselves in the spirit so that we don't have to, you know, I personally don't have to be attacked. Maybe other people don't equate, equate it for spiritual. I understand that it is a spiritual battle. I understand that it is demonic when these spirits, you know, attack you. And, um, you know, for sisters to not understand that, how important it is. You know, a lot of them um, fight against their husbands on this matter because, you know, and especially now with this awakening with uh, sisters going natural and doing the, all their hair naturally and they loving the fact that their hair is growing which is wonderful it's amazing the curses of coming off of the daughters of zion you know praise are higher but we also have to understand that we can't cross the line especially in this time when we are about to go into jacob's trouble and we are going to be attacked you can't let these um, satan use you you can't let demonic spirits take over you because you become a hindrance to the body of Christ you become a hindrance and not a help if you always you know fighting and you know bringing all this confusion that's that's a, a hindrance you become you, you it's demonic and you be, you're de de you're being possessed by a demon and um 
it's destructive into you know what is tr what we're trying to do as we try to rise and come back to the Father. You got to deal with these demons. You got to fight off this demon. You got to do this. It, it it takes you out of what your purpose is and what you should be doing for the work for the Most High. So sisters really need to understand about um fasting, praying, um getting understanding from the scriptures, the correct understanding. And covering so that you know the cover of your head. It's no way that you you have a husband in this truth, or you you know, under a church, and you walking around not covering your head. I mean, then you then you have to look at the men in the church and the elders, like what is really going on if th they allowing this kind of thing to happen because there are spiritual attacks. People are possessed by demons, and you you know. People have to be held accountable for their actions. And as people who know the truth, who understand the word of the Most High, you have to start to question people on, you know, what, why are they doing and why are they conducting themselves like that. But in the minute that you say something to people, they start to say, oh, you're attacking them. That you, you can't say anything to anyone without them feeling like you're being attacked they're being attacked or you're being judgmental and we have to hold each other accountable and to what is going on and how people conduct themselves i personally i'm not tolerating that from people especially sisters where if i have to deal with sisters i'm gonna let them know exactly you know what's going on with them and um i believe that that's this is how christ dealt with people he was very um clear with when he dealt with demons and he cast them out he let them know that this they were a demon it was a demon spirit and he let people know and i think that we have to let people know we're not to waver in this with people because the more you allow them to get away with the more they're going to do and so you know i personally don't play with people when i see that they have different spirits on them or they you know they're not covering their head and they're not doing certain things which is scripture based you know if you don't want to listen to your husband that's on you if you don't want to listen to the most high and christ and know the scriptures that's on you but i'm not going to deal with that you know and um i'm going to let people know you know where the line is so that they they can correct themselves and so I just really wanted to um, go into the scriptures on that and just show that how important it is that when we are um, to cover our heads. Um, first, let's go into Luke 17, 26. It says, as it, is, as, as it was in the day of Noah, so shall it also in this days of the Son of Man. Matthew 24 and 37 says, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of of the son of man be so we know that we need to go in to read about what was going on in the days of Noah. that's the only way you're going to really find out what was going on so when you go to gen um, genesis 6 and 2 it says that the sons of god saw the daughters of men and they were they were fair and they took them as wives of all which they chose so these angels were coming down sleeping with the women and um there's other books in the Apocrypha that goes into it further, or even the book of Joshua or, or um, Jubilees go into it further, and you need to study and go into that so you can understand what was actually happened, that it was angels, and that they were fallen like they are now. These meteorites are coming down, and these are fallen angels, and they were sleeping with the women. And um, if you go to Genesis 6 and 4, there were giants in those days and also after that. When the sons of God came unto the daughters of men, and they bore children with them, the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown. So again, it's just showing that these, um, the sons of God, was the children were giants. They became giants and renowned men. So this is what um, we'll, I guess we'll start to see the manifest of this as well, because this is what made the Most High want to destroy the earth because there was so much wickedness so much sin they were splicing with dna and all these things that this is what's going on so we have to understand that there is something working in the spiritual realm that you need to protect yourself from and that you need to know how to protect yourself and covering your head is one of the ways 